friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a totally unedited recording of fecal specification of a soft cataract let us observe the surgical steps by this time the main incision has been made 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber and then a side port and only one side port is being made in this case on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away now capsular access the anti capsule is incised and a capsular tag is raised i hold this capsular tag with uterus forceps and do capsular access yes with uterus forceps you get more control over the anterior capsule always keep an upward thrust on the anterior leaf of the main incision to minimize leakage of visco that you have used now hydro dissection 27 gas cannula bss and a 2 cc syringe is used for hydro dissection the nucleus is mobilized visco 2% aspmc is again injected into the anterior chamber and then the tip of the phaco handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber the tip goes bevel down first removes some superficial cortical lens matter and this maneuver increases visibility throughout the surgery now the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and at the center it is placed in irrigation with vacuum and the nucleus is sliced and thus the nucleus is divided into several pieces and then using only 20 to 30% ultrasonic energy we can emulsify the pieces yes the nucleus is managed now see the epinucleus it is just the chopper has been used to flip the epinucleus shell and it has come out in no time so nucleus management in soft cataracts can be done in many ways this is one way just use very minimal ultrasonic energy and vacuum go up to midway and then be in irrigation and then support the nuclear mass with the phaco tip and use the chopper to slice the nucleus into several parts and then using any very minimal ultrasonic energy and low vacuum we can emulsify the nuclear pieces cortical clean up can be done in many ways in this case a 23 gauze simco cannula has been used for cortical clean up and this is the last bit of cortex poster capsule is polished either by cap back mode of the phaco machine using irrigation aspiration cannulas or just by the irrigation cannula we can polish the posterior capsule the fluid jet is directed towards the posterior capsule and dislodges the cells sticking to the posterior capsule and now this is a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens it is loaded into a cartridge both the haptics are placed on the anterior surface of the optic of the intraocular lens and now see hydro implantation the anterior capsule the anterior chamber is kept formed by irrigating fluid this is hydro polish the posterior capsule is polished by irrigating fluid and now the anterior chamber is kept formed by the irrigating fluid and the intraocular lens is injected into the capsular bag 
yes here it goes the intercular lens just by a gentle push of the left hand instrument the lens goes into the capsula back and this is a bit of irrigation and now we have only one side port in this case this is a little bit of moxifloxacin now the single side port made is hydrated and it is closed and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done at this time fluid jet is directed towards the corneal endothelium very gently and visco sticking to the corneal endothelium gets dislodged and comes out it never causes any damage to corneal endothelium this is formation of anterior chamber and then with the help of a cotton tipped Janssen bard the wounds are checked and then the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence